Hey, so today I'm going to introduce you to my biggest fan. There it is. It's my biggest fan. I actually have two of these and um, they run in, uh, they run pretty much all the time in the larva room to keep air circulating. And today I'm going to do two things to this fan because it's disgusting and gross. And also I need to make it bug proof in a way so it doesn't get as disgusting and gross in the future. So you're probably wondering, Aubrey, why are we talking about fans? And to that, I will say excellent question, first of all. Second of all, um, airflow, air circulation, and humidity are pretty valuable um, climate situations to keep in mind as you build your larva rooms. Uh, so what I have encountered is if I run, I have two fans that sit in that room that circulate the air um, kind of in a perpendicular fashion. So I have one on one side that blows through the larva bins and I have one that helps push the air out of this room, which is the processing room adjacent into the larva room. And then I also have a smaller fan that's always running and circulating air from this room into that room. And then I have a vent hole at the top over here and that comes out. So it pushes warm air out, the fan pulls cooler in, the larva room heats that and it just circulates. So it, if that room gets too warm, this room will take, will siphon off some of that excess heat. So that's kind of great in the, in the winter time. Um, so what happens is because I have, um, I have kind of a, I don't want to say loosey goosey situation over there with the flies, but kind of, um, I don't have a great overall setup yet. This is a rustic barn. It's kind of messy it's kind of chaotic so i do have a fair amount of flies that will emerge in that larva room and when that happens um they like to hang out on things they like to hang out on the fan and sometimes the fan blades um kind of turn them into little insect mince meat so it's it just gets gross and disgusting so i'm trying to, so i'm trying to I'll clean this today and then i have um some window screen i'm going to attach to this fan but all of that to say um i do this because this winter specifically um i was pretty pleased with the amount of um, air circulation in this in the larva room because I did not have to run a, an excess or an extra source of heat more than maybe three times and at um, and no longer than maybe five days each time. So it worked out really well um, between having a consistent larval uh, population, having consistent high caloric, high value food for them. And also, I'll, we had kind of a milder winter than we would typically have here in Pennsylvania. And so that worked in my benefit. Um, who knows what the next winter will be like. But for this year, we got through it and it was okay. And um, I had kind of a bug-powered source of heat for this winter, which was pretty, pretty great. Um, so I run three fans. I have two of these big fans that run in the larva room. I have the little uh, room vent fan that circulates air through these two rooms. Uh, and then I also have <coughs> a uh, dehumidifier. So that is also a pretty valuable piece of equipment. Uh, I bring in a lot of protein and what happens when the larvae eat protein, if the air has too much um, moisture in it, too much humidity, you can you can really develop a strong ammonia odor and i find it extremely unpleasant you can also get ammonia poisoning i don't know how likely that would be in this situation i'm not sure how much ammonia has been in the air at any point in time um i do know that running the dehumidifier 
helps tremendously. Um, it's a different odor that lingers in the air, but it's not ammonia anymore. So that's also something really important to keep in mind. If you have a lot of protein coming in that you're feeding the larva, you can develop a strong ammonia odor because of that. So if you can keep the humidity down, and I have this one set, it runs in this room um, off and on just to maintain like 65% humidity in the air. Uh, I did have it lower, but the coils would freeze up and it wouldn't work and it, you know, whatever. Um, and it does pull, I think the most moisture it has pulled out of the air in one day is two gallons. So last year I ran it in the larva room. It did pull more moisture out of the air. Um, I just don't have room for it in there anymore. So it's now in the processing room and it works pretty well in here. So um, those, those are my regular old appliances that I use to get me through a winter time. I probably won't use the uh, dehumidifier in the summer because it throws off heat and um, I don't need heat in the summertime. The other thing uh, about the fans is I will move the location of uh, this the second fan. So I have one at the back corner of the room that pushes air through and around, but uh, opposite of that is the doorway. So in the summertime, I will set um, the other fan at the door so it's constantly pushing cool air through the bottom and the hot air is forced up through the top screen. So that's the other thing. So in the summertime, screen door keeps other insects out, um, other big creatures out, but the fans help push the air through. <clears throat> now, I know what uh what i could do is get a big box fan and just like bungee cord those big um filters to it i could do that i'm not happy with um how much air they push though these can push a lot of air and i think that's really important otherwise it's just kind of a a thing that sucks up energy it's not quite working the way i want it to work so I do like the bigger fans for that purpose. They push a lot of air. They make everything circulate really, really nicely. And as a matter of fact, the other day, I forgot to turn the back corner fan on and there was a noticeable difference in the humidity in that room just because the air wasn't circulating like it typically would. So just those are the little things that I notice when I don't quite take all the boxes off before I leave. So, all right, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to take this fan apart, uh, clean it up as best I can. Um, I got some diluted simple green stuff here. So we're going to work on that. Um, some old window screen, which I'm thinking should help keep the flies from flying through and turning into um, wall paste. So um, this shouldn't be a difficult project. It's just another way of coping with the nuances of being a fly farmer. So <laughs> keep watching if you're interested in seeing a fan get revamped.
so here it is. Final uh, upgrade complete. We uh, got it all cleaned up. Look how silver those blades are. Man, that was, uh, that was rough. Uh, so then, simple upgrade. Just put some old window screen on the back. Had to cut out some holes, uh, but zip ties, cable ties, whatever you want to call them, uh, to hold that on. And I was able to get the screen in between here. And uh, I got the metal strap back on, so it should be um, it should be good to go. And now, um, hopefully, I won't have to clean the fan as often and it won't need such a deep clean um, that I just had to do today. That took too long. Um, so this will be back up and running in the larva room. Uh, this one is the one that I only run at night and then uh, the other one I run all the time. So anyway, this is, this is how I circulate my air, make sure everything uh, in that room stays sort of comfy and tolerable for all parties, uh, me included. And um, yeah, Airflow, biggest fan.